Hey pretty people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a current household video. I see them, everyone doing them a lot, so I wanted to jump in and I'm testing out my new microphone shield slash stand, so it's kind of like a double video. If it turns out good, then great. If not, then I will trash it. So if you're seeing this, then it worked out and everything is great. So I'm here with my family and I have Araceli here, and she has um, two daughters from a previous marriage. Her husband did die when um, her older daughter, Taylor, was a teenager, and or maybe even a child, and Gemma was a toddler. So they were in the city, and... Araceli was having a little fling with Wesley, okay? He was the next door neighbor. They really didn't like each other. And their hatred for each other turned into a romance, a private secret romance. <laughs> after they, um, after her husband died, she was looking for comfort and stuff. So obviously their romance turned into more than that. And... Um, in regards to that, Taylor got very upset because she loved her dad. Not that Araceli did not love her husband, but she moved out and in with a friend in San Myshuno and became very addicted to drugs. She was a lot heavier as well, too. And so she left the picture, and Gemma here has always loved loved Wesley, probably because she was a toddler when their relationship started happening, a child. So the three of them get along very well together. And Araceli became pregnant with Cadence, which is Wesley's daughter. So that was also another breaking point for Taylor. So Taylor decided that she was going to move out. And Araceli and Wesley moved to this beautiful house in Windenburg. And her sister actually lives down the road. And her sister, it's kind of a big family. It's one of my legacy families. Her sister, let me find her here. Unless she hates her, <laughs> then she's not going to be on her friends list. Um, why isn't she friends with her sister? That's awkward. Oh, right here. She was a blonde haired she was blonde first, so I changed her. But anyways, Constance is her sister, and she was actually with someone who did not want children. So he left her when she had a miscarriage, and Bowen came into the picture. And he is a police officer, and he had a son, and and they're a whole nother story for a different time. But see, Luke here, is, that was her husband, and it's so sad because they were so much in love. But what her career is, she's a mixologist right now. She went back and forth with owning a retail a retail store and a restaurant. She's kind of high maintenance, but Wesley keeps her down to earth. So the other thing that's going on here, if you'll see, um, Gemma is pregnant. And she has not told her mother yet, so that is a whole nother issue. She's actually in a relationship with some people. She's with Jackson, and he is um, a little rough around the edges. And they're in a group called the Quads. I don't know why I named it that, but they're they're the misfit group. They don't um, play by the rules so much. But yeah, she has not told her mother, so I don't know how her mother is going to handle that situation but Taylor moved back in with them after her friend died and she was heartbroken so we kind of um, her mom did accept her back into her life and we built her a little room I did I didn't finish it yet but it's gonna be her room she has a little balcony this house is really cool I built it a while ago I think I built it when I first did the, the um, when we first got the clear roofs and stuff. But yeah, they live in Windenburg. It's a really beautiful house. So I missed some paint there. <laughs> and yeah, that's my current household. It's filled with drama, which is what I usually do. I mean, the sisters get along and everyone gets along, but 
I don't know. I guess I'll get to find out where the story goes. We could have her ask about Woohoo. I think that they're both really pretty, though. This whole family, like their mom, look how pretty she is. She's like totally a babe. And I love Taylor's short hair. She did have long hair. And then she's like so tall and skinny. I mean, not a, not for much longer, but <laughs> but her nose is so cute. But yeah, I decorated this with a lot of pinks just because Araceli likes likes the colors, the yellows and golds and crazy rugs. And then this is Gemma's room, so it's more the alternative. She likes to paint a lot. Maybe we should have her come in here and paint. I feel like I just like threw up on you guys with another storyline. I do very in-depth stories. Let's see what Cadence wants. So it's really funny because like Taylor really doesn't like her a lot. I mean I think it shows that they do but she was not a big fan of her because she kind of feels like it broke up her parents marriage when in reality it didn't because her her father died but it is how I feel like that situation would have went. So it's kind of awkward for her to be back because she wants to like, I don't think they're engaged yet even. She wanted, she barely, she let him move, move into her house right before the baby was born. So he hasn't really been here as long as they have. But she's very, very cute. Look at her little face. I love toddlers in the game. But yeah, that is it. Um, everyone's looking happy. I think we're going to get Araceli to make some food, serve dinner. Let's have her make some butternut gnocchi. Of course, a party size. Of course. She wants to make a sack lunch, get to know Taylor. Oh, her poor girl. Oh, I hate when like people that have died come back. Or not come back, but like call you on the phone. <laughs> oh, nice painting. She's like a really low level paint painter. And she's has a D in class, which is not good. Yeah, she's only on level three. Like I said, I just started playing this family really, so I mean I played them before, but not as their current ages, so <laughs> Yeah, I'm interested to see how her mom reacts. There's not very much room in this house. Like, this is um, Cadence's room, and then we have Gemma's. There's not very much room. I guess they could turn, like, the garden area into a nursery, but... And upstairs, it's just a, a big master bedroom with the bathroom, and then... Um, I can't speak today. Taylor and then Taylor's room is up there. I guess I could probably build a bedroom right here But then it takes away from what it looks like. What is this? Oh clean laundry uh, I don't even know what the weather is like today. It's cold. It's day six to seven of spring I like how the laundry like sparkles so I think we're going to put the laundry away I think she's going to holler at her a little bit just because she doesn't like her. Like, she came here, but... Aw, poor babies. And Taylor's eating. I think that Wesley would come over and, like... I feel like he's, like... No. Do not do that. We're gonna argue about career. Be like, girl, you need to get a job. I think she has a job, but. <laughs> He's a pretty good looking Sim. I like the dark haired, more dark haired Sims. Oh, I never noticed that, how she like wiggles around. Okay, she's gonna throw a fit, and he's gonna have to holler at her. 
like always. Sit me in the high chair, dude. Give food. Come on. She's so angry. Okay. Wesley, don't do anything. Eat your food. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, I think that we're just going to have her um, be friendly to... Oh, not hug lovingly. Something that we can do in here. Make some funny faces. Tell a funny story. Oh, her little face. They almost have, they have the same hair. That's really funny. Oh, she didn't like that. Oh, my goodness. Neeb, neeb. And like, Araceli's like, mm. Okay, so we need to give her food again. Let's try that again. Eat your food. Oh my gosh. Okay. He just needs to put her to bed. Read to sleep. She's like, yes, I don't want food. Please, please. Oh, her little face. She doesn't know any better. Two spills on the floor. Put Reed to sleep. Lullaby. Please come to my Betty Betty bye. Stop listening to her story. You're done. Go to bed. No, don't get coffee. Go to bed. Sleepy head. Sleep. Okay. You did, did you finish your painting? Oh, let's put in inventory. Aww. Wesley. Oh, she's already fallen asleep. So cute. Get out of here, Taylor. Strut it, boy. Share love day spirit. Oh, make out in the closet now. I think I'm going to have him propose to her on love day. Gemma needs to go shower. <gasps> oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. <gasps> oh wow, things just took a turn. Oh my goodness. <gasps> like they have a family together. Look at that face. Look at that booty. <laughs> His face is so sad. Oh my goodness, it's so sad. That's a man distraught. Oh my goodness, I'm so sad right now. Oh my goodness. She's, I've never had a rejectable, rejectable be proposed. I've never had it, that happen before. Oh my goodness. I'm so sad. Oh my goodness. She's so embarrassed. She's like, why did you even do it then? Okay, well, I think that that's a good way to end things. Rejected. Uh, he's He just needs to go cry in the closet, I think. He's going to go cry in his stepdaughter's, well, 
you know, not even a stepdaughter because you can't get proposed to or engaged or married and my thoughts. So I guess I'm, it's a good way to end this part. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this random video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.